if the dog begins to howl, just ignore him anyhow. You'll learn to stop when he's hungry and he's getting. So, we're going to go through more of these cassettes and mix them on the tape machine. Hey, so I've just finished the recording. Uh, it's been a two day mix yesterday, which I'll show you first. I did a few EQs of a old recording, which had a 60s organ drum machine, a piano and a acoustic guitar, a single vocal track. I've since added two more and a drum track, like real drums. I'll start by showing you yesterday and then we'll come and show you today and then we'll come into now and I'll show you what I'm about to do now. So <laughs> if you can keep up with that timeline, you're gonna have a good time. I know it starts with a, a drum machine on three, but it actually starts with this, <laughs> this weird. On the keyboard track, I was just scrolling through all the demo presets. So it makes this weird thing and then kicks into the, <laughs> the 60s drum machine. So I don't really need that much high end in there. I know it comes in with an acoustic guitar here and a piano. So acoustic guitar wise, there's no bass in this song. So I'm kind of keeping that in mind when doing all this. So what I might do, I'll see how boosting this low end is on here. Cause that's pretty cool. <laughs> frequency I don't want the, the high end of this drum machine to clash with these cymbals so I've taken out the highs on there I'm not going to boost them too much because they'll get a bit harsh If I pan one left and one right, <laughs> get them. Because obviously these two kicks are going to clash. And this kick on the drum machine is much more beefy, so. I'm pretty much happy to keep them like that. So the, that one's got more of a, oh, more of a low end boost, obviously, but. Hopefully they're not competing too much, then you've got. Right, so we're going to go back to the bit where the acoustic guitar comes in and I've mixed it flat now so the EQ is just flat on the acoustic and I'm going to set it to a level where it mostly doesn't clash and then I'm going to try and get its volume by raising certain frequencies There, sort of 3k. That sort of pokes it above. Take out a bit of the low end of it. See what the high end sounds like. A bit harsher than I'd like. <laughs> ah, that's alright. Let's put in some vocals. So the vocals were recorded with the tape echo on them. I'm mostly mixing this in mono as well. On the vocal, because I turned down the high, the low, I mean, and boosted quite a lot actually at that 2k mark. It's got more of like a tannoy sound. 
which I think kind of works for this song. And it works when the singing isn't so good <laughs> as well, which is, for me, it's a lot of the time. Piano. I feel like the piano is going to clog up that sort of low mid area, so... So track four, two, and seven don't have anything on them. I'd probably add a bass if my bass wasn't broken at the moment. So I'm kind of clean up that low end a bit. I don't think I need to put any effects on it. Um, I quite like the, the raw garage rocky kind of feel, or garage acoustic rock. <laughs> uh, it's obviously got the vocal effects on already. I just recorded it through that which has now got a broken broken tape loop, but uh, I've got spares. I ordered them from London. London, all the way over in London. Right, so I've slept on it, and I've decided I'm gonna double check the vocal, because it was weak. <laughs> uh, it's got a lot of effects on it. So if I do a dry vocal underneath, kind of keep a mono, we'll see how it turns out, it might not work. I'm just gonna sing it through a SM57. I know the track four is free. Let's do that, and then maybe I can do a harmony on two for the chorus. I've just had a shower, that's why my hair's all wet. But now you should be able to see, put the dog out in the yard. <laughs> I should sing it like that. But yeah, so now we've got, so yeah, now we've got that going. So let's skip to it, comes in. He'll learn to stop when he's hungry and he's getting cold. Right, so finished. Didn't do it that well, I don't think, but I did it quickly. And that's what's important because there's not much time in life to, to get things done quickly. Play a song for me because I got a tambourine. Right. So this will have to be on seven. And <coughs> that can sit nicely next to the kit. So we'll go into recording mode. Seven, seven. Right, let's go. I do also need to actually plug it in. Right, so, a bit distorted. Ah, that's fine. Right. right, so I've just done the tambourine, rewinding it, back to playback mode. And if oh, cool. the dog begins to howl, just ignore him, anyhow. You'll learn to stop when he's hungry and he's getting cold. Uh, yeah, so now, oh, I want to add more things. I'm getting power crazed here, so we've only got one track left. My bass is broken. Oh, why can't the bass be fixed? So you know what, actually, I'm going to try a vocal harmony. But... And if the dog begins to howl, so it's going to end up sounding like this. But I want the world to know it's fine. <laughs> I can't, that's out of my range, but we'll try it. All right, so two, volume two, 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 everything on two. Two is ready to go. Welcome back to the present day, right? So let's start with getting a good blend of vocals and acoustic and piano. <laughs> I've put them back to mono actually. But the EQs from the original part of the video are still applied. They're still the same. We are know it can be very hard to let it go and send them away for a while. And if the dog begins to howl, just ignore him anyhow. You'll learn to stop when he's hungry and he's getting Now I'm going to bring in the harmony on track two for the chorus. But I want the world to know it's fine. It's not like the best song <laughs> thing, um, so I will uh, probably keep it quite low in the mix. I've boosted around eight, nine hundred in there as well. Turn it up in volume a bit. Hear it. But I want the world to know it's fine. So I'll come to that <laughs> towards the end more when it's got more instruments in. So if we bring in the 
And if the dog begins to howl, just ignore him anyhow. You'll learn to stop when he's hungry and he's getting cold. But I want the world to know it's fine to remember all of the old times. Tambourine as well. I did this bit, well, I don't know if it will work, but it's like ends the verse different with the second two vocals. But now he just sticks to barking all night long. I don't know if I'm going to keep that in. I mean, I'll keep it in, but I'll, you know, you can do a lot by uh, raising and lowering volumes. Uh, you can sort of obscure things. They still sound like they're there, but they're hidden. So yeah, I mean, that's it. You can kind of see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to come back and just, to let until I'm happy. And send them away but the other option was to kind of pan these a little bit. And, if the dog and then pan the percussion. Just ignore him anyhow. You'll learn to stop when he's hungry and he's getting cold. Ooh, piano and guitar one side. To remember all of the old times. Crank up the bass and like how he used to run around. He lit me up when I was feeling down. But now he just sticks to barking all night long. <laughs> but I want the world to see it's fine to remember all of the old times. So actually, I really like the panning on this because you've got the drum machine with all the bass. So I don't know if I ever make a vinyl, which will... Um, ah, it'd be fun. I, I don't know how to do it. I think I need money. <laughs> um, you've got the piano all the way over to the left. And I've kind of trying to match their level of low end. So you've got this kind of big <laughs> thing around you. Uh, then you've got drums in the middle or real drums in the middle. In which case, I could probably take out a bit of the kick and make it more... I don't know. I'll see what I can do afterwards as well. Um, you can route this out to a computer or you can route it out to a desk and tweak. Um, and then you've got the acoustic in the middle as well with the vocals. So it's a bit more creative than what I had before, which was just drums down the middle, acoustic, um, piano, and then vocals kind of there. I think it's going to be uh, interesting to try and balance it. But what I'll do is just keep coming back and until I'm sort of happy with it. That's generally how I mix. I get it so I like it. I go take a big break and I come back and go, oh, okay, but that's a bit too high. And if the dog begins to howl, just ignore him anyhow. You'll learn to stop when he's hungry and he's getting cold. But I want the world to know it's fine to remember. So yeah, that's pretty much done. I'm just going to tweak a few more times and then I'll come back and um, it'll be ready and I'll put it on the old Spotify and that. Uh, you can go there now. There's songs on there. I, I made one that came out yesterday, depending when I upload this. It might take me like two weeks to edit.